As flute players, we all know how challenging it is to learn to place the right thumb in the correct position. Beginners struggle to stabilize the flute and often end up getting into the habit of placing the thumb incorrectly. There are a few different thumb rests or supports to address this issue, and the Tan Koima Prima Thumb Rest is the one we're going to look at today. Here is the Prima installed on my student flute. Uh, you can see that it gives my hand lots of extra space this way and that my thumb is in the correct position and it's not going anywhere. Uh, if you put this on a student flute, you know that your student is practicing with their thumb in the correct position. The Prima is unique from other uh, thumb rests on the market in that it has two pieces. It's got this mounting plate and then it has this removable uh, thumb plateau. So when you store your flute, you'll put it in the case with this mounting plate on and you'll store the thumb plateau elsewhere. The mounting plate is tricky to install. So removing it every time you put your flute into the case is not practical. You'll remove the mounting plate only if you decide you don't want to play with the Prima anymore, sort of for a long period of time. In order to attach the mounting plate to your flute, we use these silicone bands. Um, and there's also a silicone pad here um, between the flute and the mounting plate to prevent the thumb rest from scratching the instrument. According to the makers, using the silicone bands and the silicone pad under the mounting plate allows the flute to resonate freely and prevents the thumb rest from clamping and damaging the tube of the flute. If you're curious to see close-ups of the Prima and how it gets installed, please see my installation video linked in the description below. Over the past few months, I've had three students test out the Prima for three different right-hand issues. The first student was one I inherited from another teacher, and he held his flute with an extreme hitchhiker's thumb, resulting in a very collapsed right hand. As soon as we installed the Prima, he was able to easily hold the flute properly, and given the semi-permanent nature of the thumb rest, I felt pretty comfortable that he would be practicing with the flute in this new good position. He used the Prima for four months to train his thumb to hold the flute correctly, and then he chose to remove it, mainly because he didn't want his flute to look different than those of his peers in the school band. He has continued playing with his proper right hand position, even without the Prima on his flute, and if necessary, he can go back to using it if his right hand starts reverting to its old position. The second student who used the Prima was a beginner who felt really insecure holding her flute. Her flute was rolling quite a bit and her right thumb was constantly moving as she tried to keep the flute stable. I had her try several thumb rests and the Prima was her favorite. After two weeks of using it, she was really surprised at how her sound had improved now that the flute was more stable. The only issue she had was the fact that her flute no longer fit in the flute case with the mounting plate on it. In the end, her father modified her flute case so that the flute with the Prima mounting plate now fits inside. The third student had issues with his pinky reaching the low C, C sharp, and B due to hypermobility in this finger. Having large hands, he really appreciated the added height provided by the Prima, which reduced his right hand cramping. After using the Prima for a few days, he didn't see a big improvement with his right pinky finger issue, um, but he would have happily continued to use the Prima for the extra height it provides, uh, except for the fact that his older Yamaha 480 series flute wouldn't fit in its case with the mounting plate on. Unlike some of the other thumb rests I have had students try, all three students felt immediately comfortable when playing with the Prima. It's obvious that a lot of thought has been put into how to make this thumb rest as comfortable as possible. To summarize, let's go over the pros and cons of the Prima thumb rest. The Prima is flat, so it adds stability compared to gripping a round flute. The flute rolls much less and it feels much more secure. Flutists are therefore more relaxed with less hand and shoulder tension. The left hand doesn't need to grip as hard and players may put less pressure against the lip as well. Every student I had try it felt immediately at ease playing with it on. Not only that, but the angle of the thumb plateau can be adjusted. 
for individual hands, which I absolutely love. The Prima encourages holding the flute with the proper right thumb position. It would be really difficult to hold this flute with the tip of the thumb too far forward and impossible to hold it with a severe hitchhiker's thumb. Not only that, but the permanent placement of the mounting plate ensures a consistent correct thumb position on the flute itself every time students practice at home. The Prima adds some height to the flute's tube, resulting in a more open right hand with less cramping, and this may make reaching the lower keys easier. Unlike some other thumb rests on the market, the Prima won't scratch the flute and it allows the tube of the flute to vibrate freely without distorting the round tube of the flute. With the Prima mounting plate on, your instrument, your flute might not fit in its case. Installation of the mounting plate is tricky. Students may want a technician or an experienced teacher to install it. The left trill key may hit one of the straps. This happened to a student of mine after three months of use when the silicone strap slid a little bit. We just cleaned the silicone straps again with alcohol so that they wouldn't slide and reinstalled the Prima and it fixed the problem. If it doesn't work for you or if the tuning of your flute is affected by the strap's placement, the manufacturer suggests having a repair person remove a tiny slice of cork from underneath the trill key. Um, you can also try using a narrow strip of sandpaper to remove a little bit of cork. Another con might be that the position of the thumb is restricted to underneath the F key since the silicone straps must wrap around it. So some flute players are more comfortable with the thumb a little bit more to the left or a little bit more to the right. The main downside to the Prima is that the flute with the mounting plate won't fit in all flute cases. It fit in four of the eight cases that I tried here in my teaching studio. If your case does not have a solid ridge between the body and the foot joint, it will most likely fit. Some cases with a ridge between the body and the foot joint work and some do not, depending on the width of the indentation made for the body of the flute and the amount of extra cushioning or space there is in the lid of the case. If you're interested in knowing which flute cases my colleagues and I have used successfully with the Prima, you can find a list in my blog article listed below. In the article, I also outline some solutions you can use if your flute doesn't fit in your case with the mounting plate on. The Todd Koima Prima Thumbrest is an excellent solution for training students to play with the right thumb in the correct position. I think it's the best on the market for dealing with this issue, mainly because of the semi-permanent position of the mounting plate, which ensures that students always practice at home with the thumb in the correct position. Since the Prima adds stability, it also reduces tension in the right hand, against the chin, or even in the left hand. Just make sure you or your student has a way of storing the flute with the mounting plate in place. If you find this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so I can continue to make videos for flute players.